King Charles was due to travel up towards the palace after being officially proclaimed monarch on Saturday morning. Footage posted on social media shows a number of police officers rushing towards the man, who appears to have jumped over the barriers placed on the mall. At least five officers surround the man, taking hold of his limbs and placing him face down on the ground. King Charles arrived back at Buckingham Palace shortly after, having travelled to St. James Palace for his proclamation ceremony. He was greeted by cheers from the crowds lining the mall as he passed in his Rolls Royce. The accession council ceremony included a number of prominent politicians and privy councillors, including the Prime Minister. During the morning's proclamation ceremony, King Charles said it was the greatest consolation to know of the sympathy expressed by so many to my sister and brothers and that such overwhelming affection and support should be extended to our whole family in our loss. He added, My mother's reign was unequalled in its duration, its dedication and its devotion. Even as we grieve, we give thanks for this most faithful life. I am deeply aware of this great inheritance and of the duties and heavy responsibilities of sovereignty which have now passed to me. He continued, I take this opportunity to confirm my willingness and intention to continue the tradition of surrendering the hereditary revenues, including the Crown Estate, to my government for the benefit of all, in return for the sovereign grant, which supports my official duties as head of state and head of nation and in carrying out the heavy task that has been laid upon me, and to which I now dedicate what remains to me of my life, I pray for the guidance and help of Almighty God. King Charles then signed to confirm the declaration, with Camilla, Queen Consort, and Prince William as witnesses. Thank you.